first of all give your introduction akash hello everyone good afternoon as you know my name i am akash sharma and i am from agra city of uttar pradesh my qualifications are i am intermediate pass and i am pursuing graduation from bhimrao ambedkar university agra there are four member in my family my father is a private employee and my mother is a housemaker and my brother is studying and uh, uh, as far as my skill are considered i know full uh, hindi short end and uh, and uh, i can type hindi and english typing with fluently that's my introduction okay so, nice to know about you now let me know something about uh, your english classes the classes which you are taking here english home let me know yes, when you joined these classes when you started learning spoken english so i have been learning english classes since uh, for 3 months and uh, i joined that this class in november okay can you let me know why you joined this uh, institute of platform online platform for spoken english what was the reason behind it why you wanted to learn spoken english so many of my family member was forced me to learn english by you because uh, many of my friends have also learned english by you when you are teaching offline okay many of your friends uh, were taught by me in offline classes yes sir can you tell me any of the names yes, yes sir rashmi sharma rashmi sharma okay and and ravi sharma they were uh, ravi sharma brother and sister also, yes i know yes okay okay i was in chavir about it nice to know yes, so what have you learned in these classes in these uh, three months so i have learned many um basic and advanced uh, topic of English, spoken english uh, which are very important in everyday's life okay do you feel comfortable in speaking english now or you still yes, sir. feel hesitation no sir uh, now i am very confident while speaking english okay you are confident at speaking english fine what's your aim for the future so my initially aim is to uh, be a stenographer in central government and after that i want to be a is officer okay so after getting job of steno uh, you will be preparing for ias right yes yes sir okay what's your qualification you have completed your graduation no sir it i am uh, pursuing first year from dr vimram university you are pursuing fine have you uh, have you faced any of the exams which are of uh, government jobs yes sir i have faced three exams in which i have cleared two exam and another one was only for score card which is pass pet up triple sc pet and i have scored very well in i have scored 73 73 marks in it and okay, 65 okay, okay. marks great and uh, what about the joining you you are saying that you have cleared one of the examinations when will you yes, be sir, getting have... joining what is the procedure so i have cleared two exam uh, first is cisf but uh, in that job it is very difficult because it there its posting is very hard for me that's why i can i will not join that and second is ssc stenographer which has a, another paper of skill test which is on uh, 15 feb after clear that exam i'll join that okay okay you have cleared uh, one exam and now you have to go for the skill test yes sir all right fine what about your hobbies what do you like to do sir so, i am very curious to know in facts as like uh, about indian facts and history facts uh, and my hobbies to uh, reading about foreign policy okay you like to study about foreign policy uh, today is 31st of january 2023 uh, 
and budget is going to be announced in parliament have you yes. it has been announced or it is going to be announced or it is being announced it will announce uh, tomorrow okay it will be announced tomorrow so what is today happening is, today in parliament today sir today they discuss about uh, what we do previous year okay what they are, are telling they are they are giving the report card what we did actually in the past in previous year and uh, yes. what is our planning for the next year right tomorrow they'll be yes, so what what's your expectation from the budget so i think it will very good for infra infrastructure uh, education in and uh, uh, industrial areas okay you want them to focus mainly on education and infrastructure and industries right yes sir okay already new uh, new policy new education policy has been announced uh, how do you find it new education policy is it fine or you find some lacking in that so it this uh, that uh, education policy is very good but uh, it uh, in a practical life it it is not implemented so okay. i want them to implement on ground on ground it should be implemented what suggestion yes, do you want to give as a, as an student as a student what suggestion uh, would you like to give for implementing this policy on the ground level so i think if government uh, uh, can i say sir uh, what do you want to say uh, say i will tell you how you can convert it into sir. जो टीचर्स को वो प्रोत्साहन बोलते हैं दे शुड मोटिवेट द टीचर्स एनकरेज मोटिवेट यस सर दे शुड एनकरेज टीचर टू टू मेक अंडरस्टैंड स्टूडेंट वेरी प्रैक्टिकली नॉट इन वेरी थ्योरिकल मेथड एंड आफ्टर दैट दे विल आफ्टर दैट गवर्नमेंट शुड रिवॉर्ड टीचर आप from their uh, report card just that's like can't say okay you mean to say a uh, teacher should be rewarded as per their performance if their performance is good then they should be rewarded or they should be giving some given some prize right yes basically teachers have to be motivated yes sir all right nice very good uh, what about your family how many members are there in your family so there are four member in my family my father is a private employee which who work in uh, dsm sool company in sekandra okay are you in nuclear family yes sir i am nuclear family okay uh, do you feel fine in nuclear family or you want to live in joint family you must have seen many joint families like uh, your friends families or your relation in your relation some of the families may be joint families do you feel that i should be in the joint family or you are happy with your nuclear family so i am happy with my family but uh, sometimes i feel to be in joint family okay at what subject you are good so i am good in uh, maths and uh, general studies uh, as like G general knowledge gk your gk is fine yes you like to study gk general knowledge Yes, GS sir. is general study, right? In which history, geography, these subjects come. Okay. Yes, and in eleventh uh, and twelfth, what subjects uh, did you have? So I I am with the PCM, physics, chemistry, math. Okay. And now what you are doing? BSc or BA? So I am doing BSc. You are doing BSc. After BSc, what's your plan apart from uh, preparing for IAS? Do you have any other plan? Yes, sir. If I'll not get any opportunity before graduation, I will do MBA. You'll go for MBA. Okay. Fine. Why only MBA? Uh, it it is going to be very different because you have taken PCM. Why aren't you going for uh you know medical line or engineering? Why only management? So. I think I can do good in MBA. That's why. 
you feel uh, you can do you can manage well you can have a good management wherever you work okay yes, how would you like to do mba you would go for entrance exam or you would directly take admission in any of the colleges in private colleges how would you do it? have you planned will, or you would think in future i will think in future first aim is to be cleared uh, skill test okay your uh, short term goal is to clear the skill test for which you are preparing i think and then if yes, you sir. you will be going for the next task right in future if it is required fine yes, sir in uh, which school did you study so i have studied in uh, balaji inter college you studied in balaji inter college where is it so it is uh, in Balaji Nagar in Rambag. Balaji Balaji Nagar near Rambag, right? Yes. Okay. And from where are you pursuing your graduation? I am pursuing graduation from uh, Bhim Rao Medical University by College of RBS. RBS College. Okay. Uh, so it is private, or you are going regularly? So it is private. It's private. You are doing private study. Why have you chosen yeah. private study? Why aren't you going regularly? So because I am preparing for government exam. That's why. That's why you are doing it. Nice. Because I have to focus on preparing exams. Okay. So Akash, uh, when you suppose you get selection in civil services, you become IAS. What changes would you like to bring? So first of all, I will uh, do better with uh, infrastructure of lifestyle in village. Okay. Then I'll in encourage youth for going sports and uh, many of Akash that in village. Sorry to interrupt you, but in village, uh, fields are there, right? And yes, uh, animals are also tamed. In case you are yes. planning to, in case you become an IAS and plan for, uh, you know, improving the infrastructure. So will it not harm fields and uh, animal taming and some other things? Because infrastructure, uh, you know, better roads and uh, big buildings, industries. These are, I think, the part of infra infrastructure. I have said that lifestyle infrastructure, like uh, uh, many of in UP villages, has have not uh, toilets and uh, schools. Okay, okay, okay. And hospitals. I am telling about that. Basically, you would be making people aware about their lifestyle, how they are to live. Yes, sir. Okay, and uh, whatever the facilities are required to be there in villages, you will avail for them. Yes, this is your target. This is going to be a target. Fine. Uh, where is your residence right now? So, I live in uh, Nagla Mohalla, Rambag, Agra, Naraich. Okay. You belong to Agra itself or you belong to some other area? So, I belong to Agra. You belong to Agra. Okay. Uh, how is Agra? So, Agra is good it, and it is tier 2 city and Agra is very performing very well in every field as Agra has a lot of uh, industrial area in Foundry Nagar, in Sekandra and many more. And Agra has very big, big hospitals and Agra have a lot of things that is sufficient to be live. Okay. As you said, you live in Agra, you belong to Agra and uh, you have interest in industries also and uh, you want industries to be grown, to be developed. And here in Agra, Taj Mahal is available, right? Due to Taj, yes, Taj Mahal, I have heard this thing, a little bird told me or we keep studying newspapers and all that because of uh, Taj Mahal, industries are uh, disappearing gradually from the Agra, like Pekha industry, shoes industry. It is going to outer, outer of Agra. What do you think? Taj Mahal is good 
फॉर आगरा और कर्ज ताजमहल इज बून फॉर आगरा बिकॉज इफ ताजमहल इज नॉट देयर इन आगरा दिस आगरा विल नॉट सर्च ऑन गूगल ओके इट इज वर्ल्ड फेमस बिकॉज ऑफ ताजमहल यस सर but due to this many industries are not uh, you know you see the condition of industry many students have to yes. go out of their city to study they go they move to kota they move to delhi and cr so in this case i don't think so taj mahal is uh, so much boon for agra yes as as government said that uh, in taj mahal 5 km radius uh, man the industries who spread uh, pollution will not be settled that's a little disadvantage hmm so, taj mahal is boon for agra if taj mahal is not there agra will not be famous and many of investor are coming for uh, tourism and industry tourism and uh, hotel industry are growing here in agra because of taj mahal yes. okay fine good uh what do you uh, what difference do you see after yogi adityanath uh, mr yogi adityanath became cm of up what do you find here in agra what changes do you find because earlier it was the government of uh, samajwadi party akhilesh yadav ji and before that uh, mayavati ji was there now for uh, for 6 years around uh, you see yogi adityanath ji is the cm of up what differences have you found here in your city so first difference is uh, metro uh, metro project in agra it will okay. be complete in 2025 okay and uh, if uh, i think if uh, uh, sp sarkar will not will be there it will not be complete before 2028 if government had been there it wouldn't have been completed you mean to say that okay and uh, agra is promoting for defense corridor by yogi adityanath ji um in i think in sekandra a uh, guns factory will be situated uh, after 2 year from russia okay great so it is going to be the great opportunity for agra yes sir all right nice fine so nice to talk to you akash uh, you have improved a lot when you see yourself speaking english you will de- definitely feel proud on you you have uh, completed three months classes and uh, whatever i asked you you understood and were able to answer properly and uh, whenever you want to ask anything you also ask in the class and give the proper replies as well as whenever you have any doubts or queries you ask the questions so everything is fine still you need some improvement because somewhere you are making grammatical errors and these errors can be easily removed when you keep speaking english this is the thing earlier before joining this course you had knowledge of english you knew about the rules and regulations but problem was that you were not able to speak properly you were not able to yes, express sir. your views here what we have done we have taken many tasks i have made you speak i have made you converse with other students right now also i am making i am conversing with you this is only the thing where we properly get an atmosphere and you know atmosphere is the thing that can make us speak english or any language in this world so fine your performance was good give it up 